Hello YouTube fam. In today's video, I have been challenged to do three easy nail designs that you can do at home using no dotting tools, no rhinestones, no fancy brushes, no nothing, honey. All right, let's go for it. This first manicure is just a simple gradient dot cure that you can do either over a white base like I'm doing here or over a black base. It looks really cute, but you do have to do um, white underneath the colors if you do go the black route. But at any rate, I'm just using bobby pins and a toothpick to make my dots and I'm placing them in the same um, order as the rainbow goes on all my nails. Um, it looks super cute. It's really simple, but I love it. I love this design. Um, of course, I seal everything off with a top coat and then I end up with a super cute manicure that didn't really take any effort. But okay, let's go move on to something a little more interesting. The second manicure is a super awesome negative space design. Um, I do start off with a base coat just because even though it is negative space down the center, I wanna protect my nail from all that black polish because um, it could potentially stain. So I'm using one of these pre-cut straight sticker vinyl thingies, um, but I have a video on my channel on how you can actually make these at home yourself if you wanted to try that. You could also just use scotch tape um, it should work just as fine, but don't come for me if it doesn't. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just sticking this down the center of my nail. Um, and then of course you want to make sure that your base coat is completely dry because otherwise it will peel it off. So just, yeah. So once everything is um, in place, I'm applying my black polish and I'm not being too careful with this. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure that it's opaque. So I go in a couple of times and I let that set for just a little bit because I think if I peel it off right away, it's going to start um, flooding. So yeah, I clean up my cuticles and after like about a minute, I peel the tape off and there we go. We have some crisp lines. Now, there's two sizes to bobby pins. My nails are pretty long. Like I just have really long nail beds. So I'm gonna use the bigger bobby pin for my dots, but if you need to, you can use a smaller one and it should probably work just as fine. But again, don't come for me, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm grabbing a little piece of wax paper and using that as a nail polish palette and just putting a dot of all my colors in order. And now I'm gonna start by placing a red dot near the cuticle. And then I'm gonna do my orange dot. And now I'm gonna go from the bottom up with purple. Um, and this is just to make sure that I have everything spaced out. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, like how many dots are gonna fit. So this is just a really safe way to make sure that all your dots are gonna fit on your nail and you got it, girl, you got this. And there you have it. I love this design so damn much. Um, so you wanna make sure that this dries fully before you attempt to put a layer of top coat because if you don't, you're going to ruin the beautiful design that you just work so hard on. Um, and I just apply my um, top coat first one down the center, a really generous layer, honey. I'm, I'm generous with this. Um, and then obviously I seal the tips of my nails and I clean up my messes. And there you have it. I love this nail art so much. It's so cute. So I saved the best for last and I definitely didn't come up with this hack, but it's really a lifesaver. So all you're gonna need is a piece of scotch tape and I actually place mine on wax paper just to make it easier for myself. Um, and all you're gonna do is apply the polish colors onto the scotch tape and then you're gonna let that dry. And then once that dries, the magic begins. So I actually went in with scissors and just pre-cut, you know, straight lines. Um, and now all I need to do is peel off the tape from the wax paper and we have some stickers ready for action. So I actually ended up having to make another set of this because I'm using black polish and it's really sheer. So yeah, don't do what I did and just do it right the first time. So do, do a layer of, black, of white and then place all your colors on the tape and then cut them, okay? Okay, so now I painted my nail black, obviously with a base coat, and then I sealed it with the layer of top coat before applying the stickers. So that way I can like have some leeway to play around with this. I don't know, I'm, 
starting off thinking I could leave some black spaces between the, the tape and I realized uh, no my nail like I just cut off the tape too wide and it wasn't gonna fit so I had to space things a little bit more closer together but I think this nail art would also look really good if you just did three colors on your middle finger and then three colors on your ring finger it would just look perfectly fine just as well but obviously I had to be extra and do them all on one nail but anyways you want to go ahead and apply that and make sure that you cut the tape so that there's no tape hanging off the side of your nails because if you do it's going to lift and then you're gonna come for me and we can't have that um, but once everything is in place you apply a very very generous layer of top coat to seal everything in and then don't forget to always clean up your messes when you're done and there you have it um, I'm just gonna show you really quickly on the other nails since I had some extra tape I just applied them in some random orders that make no sense but they look good so yeah there you have it folks super easy nails that require no skill whatsoever let me know down below which one was your favorite if you would even try any of these nail designs and if you are a nail artist i'm going to challenge you to do this three tool at home manicure challenge because this shit is hard folks this shit is hard um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one and thank you so much for watching